Oh, the holly ground, hey? 13 years old, 13 years old when um, I came through to Kings. I think at first the excitement was, I know that um, rugby was my, my main vehicle, but to be able to understanding that it's a uh, learning institute as well, in terms of the high quality education you get here, I think it was in, uh, that was kind of at the back of my mind. I wouldn't say at the front of the mind, I'd be lying if I said that, because um, rugby was, <laughs> was, my, uh, was my passion. I've always, always been a rugby guy. Um, the family is full embedded in rugby. My dad represented Tonga, so did my three older brothers. As I'm one of seven, five boys, two girls. So rugby was always um, huge. So, um, so it was always going to be at the forefront of my life. It was my dad's dream. Like he, one of his, um, his goals was to, to move away from Tonga it was a better life, but also that one of his boys, because I was uh, the youngest out of the four, to to be an All Black. So it was always always the dream to, to become one. And when that day came, was uh, she was a pretty emotional experience. It's the, it's the usual story when you just be doing things that people wouldn't do um, in terms of your training. You're going train at different hours. You just knew you had to do extra. You learn the game a bit more to get better. You wouldn't kind of rest on your laurels, I suppose. And so, um, and you're always chasing, you're always chasing to try and achieve um, the goal you set. So, so those were the huge kind of takings for myself. Once, once I did achieve it, um, it was, you know, it was nice to reflect and see that the, all that hard work had paid off. Malo boys, how are we? Good, thanks. How How's the final run? Ready for tomorrow? Uh, it's quite hard to actually talk to you fellas since I know most of you fellas, if not all. But uh, always, a, always a privilege and honour to come back and uh, nothing much to, you know, to really express to you guys um, that you don't already know, to be honest. But a couple of things for me and just watching from the games you guys have played, two points that I, uh, I remember giving to Trey before he got selected was, the first one is no fear. Okay, be courageous in any decision you make. Make sure it's, you know, if you're right or wrong, you've got to go through it. Don't get caught in a half-half. Always remember you're doing it the best for your team. Hey, because this game's all about a team game. Doesn't matter how good you are individually, you've got to contribute to everyone else that's in your group. And the last one is enjoy, boys. Rugby, rugby here, school rugby is always the best rugby ever. Okay, but it's only awesome if you're all working together. Me and there's trust amongst each other. Hey. And then from there, you know, win the little battles tomorrow. Win the little battles because you're going to need to. And if you win all those, then tomorrow we'll come back to once again. Hey. But I wish you all the best. Can't wait to watch you guys and uh, support from the outside. Malo. Thank you. Farewell. It's King's College at their very, very best. What a try. And there's a danger.